Hello, in this video we will solve this problem that is determine I of T in the below circuit. So we have two voltage source here, one is 50, another one is labeled as 50 U of T, where U of T denotes step function. So what does it mean? When T is less than zero, this voltage source will have zero volt. So this voltage source will be active only after t greater than 0. So 50 U of t means when t is less than 0, this voltage source will have 0 volt. How to represent 0 volt? A short circuit. When t is greater than 0, this will have 50 volt. 50 into 1, so 50 volt. So 50 U of t means when t is less than 0, it is 0. t is greater than 0, it is 50. And you have two resistor 2 ohm and 6 ohm and you have one inductor 3 Henry and current passing through this inductor is I of T and you are asked to determine the value of I of T. It's an example for a driven RL circuit. Okay. So first one we will write for T less than 0. So circuit diagram you will draw. So for T less than 0 this 50 volt will be there but this 50 U of T will not be active how to denote an inactive voltage source by 0 volt 0 volt how to represent 0 volt it's a short circuit and 2 6 and inductor so 2, 6 and 3 current passing through is I of T and we have to draw T greater than 0, T greater than 0 this voltage will be active so your circuit diagram will be this is 50 volt and one more 50 volt will be active it is minus and plus 50 volt and you have one resistor another resistor here and another inductor is here that is 3 6 and 2 current passing through this will be i of t okay so this is t greater than 0 so step 1 step 1 we have to find first initial current that is i of 0 minus so i of 0 minus that is t less than 0 the circuit was kept for long period of time so it had already reached steady state in the steady state an inductor can be replaced by a short circuit so we have a short circuit in parallel with the 6 ohm resistor that is nothing but a short circuit if 6 ohm is in parallel with 0 ohm equivalent resistance will be 0 ohm so though 6 ohm is present here it's presence is not felt by the circuit because you have a short circuit which is in parallel with that 6 ohm. So what is the current flowing through this uh, inductor then? So you have 50 volt, 2 ohm resistor and you have short circuit inductor that is 3 Henry. This 6 ohm will not come into picture. So I of 0 minus will be total voltage that is 50 by total resistor only 2 ohm, ohm resistor will appear. 6 ohm will not come into picture because of short circuit inductor. So only resistance you have 2. So 50 by 2 that is 25 ampere. And I of 0 plus is nothing but I of 0 minus which is 25 ampere. Okay. That is step 1. Step 2. We have to find tau so for that uh, we know l directly that is 3 but r equivalent we have to find so what is r equivalent this is after t greater than equal to 0 so when after t equal to 0 that time we have to find the tau time constant okay so how to find that one that time uh, what do you mean by R equivalent? R equivalent is the equivalent resistance seen by the inductor. 
okay so how to do that so here you have 50 volt 50 volt to find the equivalent resistance you have to deactivate the independent voltage source so if you deactivate these two this 50 volt and this 50 volt then you have a short circuit here and you have 2 ohm and 6 ohm and here you have inductor and this is nothing but R equivalent this is 3 Henry so R equivalent is 2 parallel 6 2 parallel 6 that is 2 6 that 12 by 8 that is 1.5 ohm so our tau will be L by R equivalent L is 3 R equivalent is 1.5 that is 2 second okay. step 3 step 3 we will write the response I of T I of T will have two components one is natural response another one is force response I n of T and I f of T since it is driven RL circuit we will have natural response also force response also and how to write this I n so we will first consider I n I n form is a into e power minus t by tau tau is already calculated that is 2 okay and a we have to calculate from the initial condition first we will write i f also what is i f i f is i f we can also call it is i infinity so if the circuit is kept as it is for a longer period of time what is the uh, current flowing through in the inductor so what happens for that we have to see the circuit t greater than 0 that is this circuit we have to see so here if 100 volt is kept for long period of time what happens again this act like a uh, short circuit inductor so this 6 ohm will not come into picture so because this short circuit is in parallel with 6 ohm that is nothing but a short circuit so you have 100 volt and 2 ohm resistor and you have a short circuit inductor so what is the current flowing through this that will be 100 divided by 2 so 100 divided by 2 if is total voltage 100 2 ohm resistor so that is nothing but 50 ampere so now what we have to do is our i of t is a into e power minus t by 2 plus 50 now only remaining is we have to find this constant a okay step 4 step 4 step 4 is uh, we have to find a for that we can use this condition i of 0 plus we had already calculated what is that i of 0 plus in the first step we calculated it is 25 so we will use that one i of 0 plus is equal to 25 that is equal to a into e power you have substitute equal to 0 that is this will be 0 plus 50 so a will have value minus 25 so if you substitute in the main expression that is i of t is equal to i of t is equal to we can have like this 25 for t less than 0 initial value that is i of 0 before that i of 0 minus is equal to i of 0 plus so at t less than 0 the current is 50 25 but after this one t is greater than or equal to 0 so that time you have to use that expression i of t equal to i n plus i f what is the natural response natural response is minus 25 that is a e power minus t by 2 plus uh, force response force response is 50 so this is the solution for the above problem minus 25 e power minus t by 2 it is minus plus 50 when t is greater than or equal to 0
okay that's it